the UDA Kisumu County membership uh, wishes to inform the party headquarters, the national government officers in Kisumu, including the security operators, the public, and the fourth estate of the existence of this office from where we are addressing you from. This office is duly recognized by the headquarters, having been opened on the 4th of March 2023 by the Honorable Secretary General of the Party, Clefas Malala. It is this office that on the 20th of March 2023, during the demonstrations by the enemies of democracy, uh, was invaded. We had vehicles uh, torched, IT equipment stolen, and the membership were here uh, harmed or injured uh, during that time. Today, as we speak to you, this office has officials all the way from the wards up to the county level, which we are presenting here. At this point, therefore, given some challenges we are facing, we have called you so that the country can know, the headquarters can know, the party leader can know, the party chair can know that Kisumu County is in place officially and we are recruiting members. My chair, Professor Senya, will give you a statement and then we will have uh, the youth leader and the women's wing talking to you, after which then we will give you the resolutions of this office. Eric Osenya, having been duly elected by members of Kisumu County UDA as interim chair for Kisumu County, do hereby state that Kisumu County UDA office is in a place, is in place and is working and ready to do any duties that pertains to UDA activities in the county. This is the office that was duly opened by the Secretary General, UDA Party, Honorable Cleophas Malala, and is the known office for Kisumu County. It is unfortunate that some members from the Luo Nation of Kisumu County who masquerade as genuine sympathizers of UDA, but who in actual sense are sympathizers of our opponents, are trying to undermine the activities that are taking place in this office and Kisumu County in general. We are here by stating and informing the nation at large, and in particular, the UDA headquarters, that these activities by members who claim to be sympathizers of UDA, but who go around collecting money from headquarters and everywhere in the name of UDA and in the name of carrying out UDA activities should be condemned forthwith. Mimi Stephen Oduwaranyi, Komimi Youth Leader Kisumu County. Na vile umesikia kiongozi akiongea. Sisi kitu ya kwanza lazima tufanye kazi na serikali. Lazima tutambue serikali ya William Samuel Ruto na Rigathi Gachagua. Na mimi kama kiongozi ya mavijana, sita kubali mavijana watumike, sita kubali kitu kama hiyo. Nimekataa, hata kama weni na nimekataa. Mavijana imefika wakati kufanya kazi na serikali, na muti yote mwenye atakuja kuintafia na mavijana kufanya vitu zao, atuta kubali hata kidogo. Sai tumeingia kwa UDA, tumeamua kufanya kazi na serikali, na atutaki mtu kuja kujiweka tie ni mtu wa UDA kumbe amekuja kichini chini kwa ribu vitu ya serikali. Hatutakubali kitu kama hiyo. 
Naimiza mavijana wote watoke nje wafanye kazi na serikali kupigana tumepigana ya kutosha mawi tumetupa ya kutosha kama ni kitu yoyote yenye inafaa watu wafanye ili tupate uongozi tumejaribu sasa tumeamua kama mavijana hatutatumika tutafanya kazi na serikali na serikali ni William Samuel Ruto na Rigathi Gachagua tumeingia UDA ya tutaki mchezo kwa UDA kama utaki kuingia kwa UDA kufanya kazi kufanya uh, president kazi toka wacha wenye wanataka kufanya kazi wafanye rudi odm wacha kukuja hapa kuleta vurugu ili ionekane ni kama watu wa UDA wanapigana mimi kama vijana sitakubali kitu kama hiyo naimiza mavijana wote wenye wanatembea hii nje sijui mara sijui president youth president sijui youth leader sijui nini kuja ofisi ndio hii kuja watu waonge tutembee kitu kimo Mwaja. ili kitu kikufanya tunajua ni nini mekufanya na ulienda kufanya nini si ati unatembea kivyako unatoka ku hoteli unaenda kufanya vitu zako mambo ya kuweka meeting ku hoteli tutakubali narudia nikisema viongozi wote wenye waamua kufanya kazi na serikali kuja na njia moja usikuje hapa mambo ya kugongana ili mavijana waumie hatutakubali kitu kama hiyo my name is jeronim akinyi obwar and as the previous speakers have talked I also want to say that it's high time for young people to be identified with something that they know is a good thing. And I love to tell them that UDA is a place for young people because we are encouraging young people to be meaningfully engaged so that they can at least be people in their society. These UDA members, we are really fighting for UDA genuine members in Kisumu County. And it's high time you also be associated with that because we are building a movement. We are building a very strong movement of the youth and of women, of people who can stand this test of time. So we are encouraging every young person be identified with the working party. I am appealing to each and every one of you. It's high time you get to hang at a branch that will start the test of time. A branch that even if the wind comes, even the storm comes, it's never going to get broken. So all Kisumu youth, I am appealing to you, come and get identified to this standing office with genuine UDA members. My name again, Jeroni Makinyo Boar. My name is Evelyn Otieno. I want to speak on behalf of the Women League in Kisumu County. Uh, we wish to applaud the, uh, the effort that these officers have put in place to ensure that uh, uh, grassroots recruitment is taking place without any hindrance. And we wish to thank all the old, the, uh, the young, and the, the women out there that have come out boldly to ensure that they work with this uh, ruling party. As this office stands, we wish to say that uh, this is the office that uh, all the party activities should be channeled to, mm -hmm. and all the women outside there, if you have any question regarding the re recruitment of the membership, please feel free to come in this office and we'll guide you. We have worked severally with the grassroots uh, community, and uh, we are so happy that uh, many women are now joining the ruling party. This is the party because they feel that this is where they belong. This is where they, are, they can be heard. This is where they feel free to, to talk about the issues that they undergo uh, in the grassroots. So uh, any woman outside there, any youth outside there, any person outside there, please, this is the office. And we are, not, uh, we are not ashamed to talk about it. We are not afraid. We are ready, we are soldiers, we will soldier on until the end. And we work out on ways to ensure that this party is meaningful in this society. This era is not an era that where we, we, we stay to one party. We are all free to join the party that we wish to work with. So don't feel threatened. And I wish to say that we are all welcoming all new members, old members. We want to work together as a team to ensure that this society stands still with the ruling party. Because society without women is nothing. Mm. Even the family without a woman. A woman is the one who builds the family. Mm. A woman is the one who takes care of the family. So the women in this county, please come out boldly. Say that enough is enough. And this is the party where you can be heard, where you can be courageous enough to address your issues. Even we have those issues. We, we are not even allowed as women to come out freely and talk about political issues. Why? But this party has enabled us now I stand here and I talk boldly, encourage, uh, encouraging other women because I know this is where the food is. 
If you want the garden, this is where you can plant it and you grow your food. Thank you. One, that this office duly supports the registration of genuine members and are happy to welcome them anytime. This, of course, has been stressed by previous speakers. That we are expressing on behalf of Kisumu County UDA uh, membership. We are aggrieved that CS Owalo Eliud has relegated grassroots, genuine pioneer members and grassroots new leaders to non-entities and has given and continues to give undue prominence to elite members joining from ODM. This is not a hidden fact. You all know it as members of the fourth estate. So Eliud has taken members of UDA, not just in Kisumu County, but in Luo Nyanza, genuine grassroots members as nothing, as non-entities. And when the president asks him to recommend people for appointment, Eliud does pick ODM members to give them positions. I don't need to name them, you know them. We are aggrieved by this and are informing the president that he is known to be rewarding those who have worked with him. What has Luo Nyanza done? What has Kisumu done? That he must allow Eliud Owalo the le leverage to frustrate his genuine supporters, some who started before Eliud joined. The president, when he was deputy president, did ask me through Nick Correr to work with Eliud. What did the president see in us that Eliud is not seeing that he must go to ODM? That is a question we are asking the party. We are saying this next, that Eliud has beguiled, he has cheated, he has hoodwinked the party leadership that ODM defectors who is bringing to UDA are moving with their supporters. It is not a, it is not a lie to say that very many, if not all, ODM leaders, senators, MCS, MPs, women reps, are elected courtesy of Raila. So when you go and you pick one MP, you go and you pick a senator, you go and you pick some governor somewhere or some deputy governor somewhere, you are not picking, you are not changing Luanyanza. So we are saying that we, as UDA Kisumu County, need to be given the support we need by headquarters to get genuine members who are now isolated so that we can grow our party. Now, we are also saying as Kisumu County, Kisumu County is the only county in Kenya where we vote more against Raila. Kisumu County. Today, those who led Kisumu County to giving the president 11,000 votes are still chewing grass. <laughs> While those who are backing at us, throwing stones at us, sending people to, to eat the office, are enjoying the cake that we helped bake. Yes. Eliud is not fair. Absolutely. Eliud is not fair, fair, and Eliud is not a politician. <laughs> so we are saying that the president should know that Kisumu and Luo Nyanza is undisturbed yes. by Owalo's presence. Owalo is doing nothing. That, listen to this, members of the press, that by dint of his decisions and actions, as expressed in his unstructured activities, when he sends some immediate former ODA bigwigs to come and re recruit members here, buying members, uh, attempted micromanagement of even sub-county leadership, his insecurity, fear of ideas, and even worse, his desperation to replace Raila Odinga as kingpin. I mean, you know, 
I mean, this is Baldash, you know. Uh, um, he is the architect of disorganization, disorganization, disorder and confusion, bedeviling not just Kisumu County, but Luenyanza. Okay? Very soon, expect the three other Luenyanza counties to speak out. And you will, you will remember us. In this regard, the Kisumu County uh, UD office would like to inform the headquarters that, and the party leader, and we are happy that the SG is, a, a, is a, a member of the cabinet, that Owalo be advised to restrict himself to his civil service job. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Because he is abusing his office. He is abusing, even distributing fertilized maize. He's a fertilized maize part of ICT. He has to stop that joke and accept liberal minds, work with us so that we can help the president to infiltrate Luenyanza. We have no problem with him. We have a problem with this approach. <laughs> lastly, lastly, we want to say this, that uh, Owalo's strategy of taking people from ODM and bringing them to UDA is myopic, and it is a fraud. He is defrauding the party. Because they are buying members who are not adjoining members. Mm -hmm. So we are asking that the president discards the policy that Owalo is using for Luo Nyanza. Mm -hmm. The policy of kill mm -hmm. liberal progressive voices mm -hmm. and upgrade UD, uh, ODM members. Okay? Mm -hmm. Eliud is stifling the consolidation of democracy in Luo Nyanza. Mm -hmm. So we are calling him out. We are sending a strong message that this office, the UDA Kisumu County office, is in place. Anyone who has an activity, let them come over to this office. Yes. We are structured. We are organized. Our chair is a professor. Yes. Thank you. Yes.